Okay, welcome again. Welcome to this tutorial for Typhoon. In the last um, tutorial, we started a Typhoon and we came to the main screen and we had a little bit of an explanation of what everything on this screen does, what the menus do, and what all these different tabs are. Uh, what we're going to do right now is try to create our own new geometry uh, for that of an image. Uh, we don't have exact dimensions. Uh, at this stage, it's not as, as important. Uh, we try to make this design. It's the Persico 69F, which is currently making a lot of noise uh, on Garda Lake. Uh, and a lot of uh, events are happening on it. So it has a, a main dagger board in the middle. It has two L foils, which are tilted outwards, and it has a T rudder in the back. Uh, we'll try to make this um, this design inside Typhoon. Um, so what we can do in Typhoon is every foil we make, we can uh, mirror it over our uh, symmetric axis. So we only need to create one foil, two foils, and then actually a third foil, but this one, the back, the T rudder in the back, we need to make it in two foils because this part, this part, if we would mirror it, we would have two foils on the center line, which we don't want. So we create one foil here, we don't mirror it, we make a foil there, and that one we do mirror. So we have four foils. One, two, three, four. And all the rest get mirrored. This one gets mirrored, this one gets mirrored. Those on the center line don't get mirrored. Okay, um, so we go into the geometry panel of move this away for a while. Uh, we get into the geometry panel. So what we want to do is create a new geometry um, and this screen will open uh, in a minute now. Yes, here we have it. So the geometry definition, um, it would have been easier to just press uh, on, a, on a graphic user on a, on a graphic user interface where we can just find points. Uh, for instance, this is a little bit harder to, to code. So we, we need some text input from you to create a geometry. Um, I looked for the mass of this vessel and it's somewhere around 340 kilograms. So together with a crew, it weighs around 500 kilograms. That's why we have 500. And we've got your uh, mass moment of inertia tensor uh, for the longitudinal analysis. It's mainly this EYY, uh, which is quite important. So all the rest put it on 100, but it, it's not important for our analysis. Um, so we put this one, uh, this one, uh, we estimated it to be around 20, I guess it was. Uh, so we put zero, zero, zero because it's not really important, and 100. Then uh, the number of foils, I only mentioned it in the picture. So we need one foil for the L foil, a second foil for the central dagger bolt, a third foil for the rudder stem, and a fourth foil for the rudder elevator. So we choose four foils, and these panels open up. For the center of gravity point and reference point, it's easiest to start from zero. Once you want to start moving it, you can start moving it here, uh, but it's easier to start defining your geometry while center of gravity and your reference point are at zero. Your center of gravity is what it says it is, and your reference point is around the point around which we calculate the moment and uh, forces. So the first foil will start with the L foil, which is tilted outwards. Um, so every foil is based on an airplane wing. So if we would define an airplane wing, the, 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 uh, the axis system, the y-axis points sideways. So like an airplane wing, if you would put no dihedral angle, we would have a sideways wing. So that's very important to keep in mind, uh, but more on that later on. We want to have it mirrored. So yes, we click this on. We want to have two partitions. So we press two. Another very important thing, which we're doing here, everything inside this geometry definition to avoid any errors and avoid any issues, it's best to define it um, sequential. So just follow the way along these uh, boxes and, and do it in a, in a sequential manner. If you would directly jump here and go back there, it might lead to some issues uh, because the text user interface is, is, is coded as sequential and it's based on that one. So then our apex position, that's your starting position where the foil will start. And we build inside this foil, we build on top of that. So the next partition will build on the first partition. So 
um, the exposition, it will be a little bit in front of our, um, of on the front of our center of gravity and reference point. So we put minus 0 0.3, uh, the x-axis is pointed backwards. Um, the y uh, position, it's a half a meter outside and we'll let it start on the same height as small thing. Um, for the chord, we estimate it to be 35 centimeters, so 0 0.35 meters. Here we get a, our base chord airfoil. Uh, it's in four-digit NACA. We, we can uh, define here, for example, it mentions it already, uh, 2412. Uh, this will, in the case of an airplane wing, define a positive wing. If we would have a foil which bends underneath our vessel, a positive uh, a positive uh, NACA profile will still will generate lift downwards, which we don't want. If you want to have then a positive, so uh, an inverted, inverted uh, profile, we need to put minus, minus 24.12. But right here, the 24.12 is okay. Um, so here it's for our mesh. How many panels do we want cord wise? Uh, along the cord, 10 is in most of the cases enough, uh, more, more is accurate, but I wouldn't go below 10. Uh, your dihedral angle, so zero is pointed directly outwards. If we want to go down, we do minus 60. Minus 90 is directly downwards. Uh, it's mentioned here as well. Uh, but here, minus 60 is okay. Um, your pitch, that's the pitch of this entire foil. It's kind of the rake of this entire foil. Uh, in this case, I think four degrees will be enough. Uh, we don't want any twist on the base cords. Um, the base cord is the starting root position of this entire foil, uh, but we don't want any twist there. Uh, number of panels span wise inside this partition. So every foil is based, you've got a foil, and inside a foil, you can have multiple partitions three inside the graphic user interface, more inside the text user interface. But so along this number of panels semi span wise is for this partition. Uh, let's say that 30 will probably be enough. Um, the span of this thing is one, it's estimated 1.6. Uh, the taper, um, we put it on one. Uh, this just defines the cord length at the tip of your foil, of this partition. So if you start from 0 0.35 and we would put here taper is two, then it would get wider at the tip and it would be 0 0.7 as a cord length, which would be unrealistic, of course, but it can be interesting if you want a uh, foil which tapers off towards the end. So if you want to get a smaller tip, tip cord, we, for example, we put here 0 0.5, but in this case, it's okay like that. Uh, the tip cord airfoil, again, a NACA for digit, uh, and if you want to invert it, we would put minus 24.12, but this is not necessary here, so we put 24.12. Uh, we don't want any sweep. Sweep is the forward or backward uh, orientation of this foil, so if we would put forward, uh, positive sweep, we'd get forward, a negative sweep goes backwards. So right here, zero is good. No outboard twist. Uh, the mesh type, which will, uh, no, one, one it mentions what the mesh type is if you hover over this. Uh, so that's just say, saying how the mesh would look like. So we right now a linear mesh is okay, but we can also put a half cosine, a span direction, a cold wise half cosine, a span wise cosine, and then all these combinations are available. Uh, we also have to choose whether or not we want the foil to be curved. Well, it, it's if we go back to the if we go back to the image we see right here, we see that this foil is slightly curved. So we'll say yes, it is curved, and, and see what it does. Uh, it's quite heavily curved. We want to curve it outside, so we want to curve it negative. So the radius of curvatures will be minus five meters. Uh, the dihedral angle of the second of the second partition. Uh, if you put zero, then it will be just tangent, tangential to the first partition. So it's curved, so it will curve outwards, and the dihedral angle will be the same. The dihedral angle is the sideways um, angle of, of this foil. But we want to have a corner to it. Um, we can again, get a picture in it. Um, so I would say that 90 degrees uh, would probably do the trick. Zero degrees, the foil with the second partition we just follow, minus 90 degrees, it would point that way. So, as I mentioned, 90 degrees, oh, maybe it's a bit too much. Let's put 70 degrees in there uh, as a dihedral angle. Number of panels, panelized. In the first one, we had 
uh, 30. Right now we'll put 20 because the span is a little bit uh, less. We'll put one meter again. It's, it's a little bit, uh, I guess, but it's not important here just to get a hang of what it's doing. Uh, the taper, um, right now we see that this, this foil tapers a little bit off towards the end. So we'll put some taper in there, we'll say uh, maybe 0 0.7. At the tip cord of the airfoil, we'll keep it at the 20.12. Now we'll put no sweep in there. We, do, we don't want any oddball twist. The mesh type one is okay. We, want, we don't want it to be curved. Um, second foil, uh, it's just uh, this, this, the, where, it, where is it right here? We've got it right here. Oh. Uh, it's just the center, the board on the center line. Um, so it's quite an easy one. Uh, it has only one partition, it's not mirrored. Uh, the, uh, the apex position, we just put it on the same uh, position, so minus 0 0.3. Uh, the y position is now zero. The z position is also zero. Uh, we'll put us a little bit uh, smaller cord, because this one is that important. Uh, the base cord airfoil, we want it to be, to be neutral, so NACA four digits is NACA 12. It's new, neutral uh, airfoil. Number of panels cord wise, uh, again, we put 10. Uh, we wanted to have straight downwards, so we put minus 90. We don't want any pitch. Uh, we don't want any base cord. Uh, do we want panels back seven five months? Of course, we want it, so we put 20. Not 220 would be, would be a lot. So we put 20 there. Uh, the span of it, uh, I, I found it to be 1.7 meters. Uh, we'll get a slight taper in there. And the tip cord of the airfoil, again, 0 0.12. It could be an 11 as well. Uh, no sweep, no oddball twist. The mesh type one is okay. No curve in there. Uh, and this should be it. Yeah, this look, look, looks all right. Um, the third airfoil is the stem of the rudder. So it's this one, again, uh, we'll say that it's at position 2.7. It's in the center line. It's set. It's not mirrored. It only has, and it was actually a mistake from me because we, we discussed it. Yeah, we, we should always work uh, consequential. So you work your way through all the fields and you should not fill something in if you haven't filled in the first one. Because sometimes some of these values built on top of the first one. So if you would fill it in for the other one, uh, you, you have a chance that it doesn't work. So we'll just do one again. We'll put 2.7 again in here, zero again, and then zero again in here. Um, then you have your root cord. Uh, it's a little bit smaller, let's say 0 0.25. Neutral again for a rudder, a typical uh, number of panels cord wise. 10 again, minus 90, straight down. No pitch, no twist. 20 panels, a span of Oh, it's shorter probably with the 1.2. Uh, slide taper again, 0 0.8. Tip cord, again, neutral, 0, 0, 0.12. No sweep, no twist. The mesh type one is okay. Curved, no, that's okay. And the fourth one is the T rudder. It's not shown here, but this rudder is a T. So what we're gonna define now is the, this arm of the rudder. Um, so we have to have it mirrored. So we put mirrored, it has one partition, and it's at the bottom of this foil, foil tree. So the apex X position will be the same. The Y position will also be zero, but the Z position will be at the bottom of this one. Uh, and this one has a span of 1.2, so we want to have 1.2 meters below this zero point. So minus zero, one, minus 1.2 is okay. We'll put the same chord length, um, base cord airfoil. Again, rudder typical neutral. Uh, number of panels chord wise, 10 is okay. Right now, we want to have straight outputs, so zero does a trick here. Pitch, no pitch in the beginning, it's, it's good like it is. No twist. Uh, the number of panels summer span wise, we'll put 15 to get some more accurate results. The span right here, I think 0.45. Uh, it's more or less okay. Uh, taper, uh, we wanted to taper down a little bit. Um, say 0 0.7, zip cord airfoil. Again, a neutral airfoil. Sweep, 
maybe a little back sweep just to see what it does. Uh, so we said minus 10, we don't need any twist. The mesh type one is okay. We don't need it to be curved. And then I already had a 69F saved, so I 69F2, uh, and I'll save it. And once we've done that, we get a mention that our geometry is saved. And once the geometry is saved, we can just close this down. 